What's up guys, Zach man with another video update. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, Holo and of course Tron, TRX as usual. Oops, wrong chart. So if we look at Tron right now, obviously like I said we're kind of in a little uptrend here on the 60 minute chart. Uh, we did hit some resistance again at right around 724 Satoshis. So uh, that's the second time that it hit and obviously we're kind of going downhill and that, but like I said we are in an uptrend obviously we um, didn't really uh, we hit a higher low here compared to here there was a you know the lower low from that one so we were doing pretty good and obviously the low here so we're gonna kind of follow this bounce around here for the hour if you look at the day chart sorry my computer's a little laggy it's uh, doing a virus scan right now for the last 10 hours so it's a little laggy here we go uh, so again, right here you can kind of see the uptrend right, right now, and obviously the uh, resistant line, support line. So we're going to kind of fluctuate on this. So hopefully by uh, you know sometime mid February, uh, we'll see a breakout here. Uh, depending on what all happens as far as all the DAPs going, all that stuff. But uh, let's talk about uh, Holo Chain or Hot. Um, basically, what Holo Chain is for those of you that don't know, it's like a cloud computing service company kind of like uh you know microsoft google they have the cloud uh apple um ibm's coming out with the cloud service now too so that's kind of what uh holo chain is a little different from blockchain and everything else that you saw but uh they had a high um the other day of uh 25 satoshis uh which isn't much but it's very fairly fairly cheap it's like zero point or point zero 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 seven <laughs> cents so yeah it's pretty cheap right now but uh, they're actually doing an exchange uh one for one for uh they're gonna uh releasing a holo fuel so they're switching their uh token to holo fuel so they're doing a one for one on that pretty soon here that hasn't released anything but i want to talk about um cloud computing and this isn't a clickbait this is a this is actual a fact of what i think the projection for price will be i don't know when um it could be year it could be five years it could be ten years um but this is why i think like that let's get rid of that pop up here maybe not okay so right now according to some the statistics and studies um the cloud computing market is projected to reach 411 billion dollars by 2020 so next year so if we look at the market cap right now this is tron I believe holo is 50 right here here we go holo um right now it's at 92 million um there is 133 billion tokens in circulation right now out of like 199 i think um so how we figure this out and again i know it's, i hate using the market cap just because of obviously doing some research and stuff like that you really can't i mean this is a minimum anything's possible which, which i'll explain here a little bit so if you take the market or the circulating supplies um and uh oops so we take that and and times i think it's three dollars and nine cents that'll give you a, a market gap of 411 billion so that's how i'm kind of calculating this you can correct me if i'm wrong obviously i'm new to this but this is why i believe this is possible i don't know the timing but um cloud money there we go so 411 billion would be the market cap and that would be equal to again my computer's lagging again there we go uh to what the projected reach for just the market alone in the united states i believe uh or no this is worldwide sorry um and that's just like all this stuff and obviously crypto mining is a whole different ecosystem so that's why i'm going off of that so if you look at trx now let me do the same thing which that ca uh, market cap right now hey we're number nine look at that uh circulating supplies for that is 600 and, or 66 billion let's copy that go to white calculator stupid antivirus thing clear that out come on it's a horrible time to be doing this all right um and that'll be 3172 
Um, because if you look at the entertainment business, uh, for worldwide, the projection, in the United States alone, it's going to expect to be over $720 billion, but worldwide, um, is set to rise at $2.14 trillion by 2020. So this is the entertainment business, you know, everything to do with entertainment, market, media, all that stuff. So, again, um, if you take uh, $31.72, that'll give you the market cap of two point. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, that's not right. Well, let's see. It'll be pretty close, anyways. Um, you know, give or take a few cents, but uh, two point eleven trillion basically is where we're at with that. So, I believe Tron will be like thirty one dollars and seventy two cents. Again, I'm not sure for time frame wise. It could be five, ten years, or anything like that. And if this is wrong, you guys can correct me. But that's just my calculations of why I think that's a legitimate uh, thing. And if you look at the total market of the stock market, if you look at, like I said, the crypto market, everybody's like, oh, no, blah, 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 you know, it's going to be the trillions, you can't do that. Well, if you look at the you know, at the stock market as a whole, yes, it, you know, and this is, I, didn't, I tried looking up recent statistics, but they didn't have it. So um, as far as, I believe this is, it goes back to 2016, uh, the market's worth $20 trillion. That was in 2016. It was where the whole market is $20 trillion. Obviously, there's an uh, average trading volume, of approximately 169 billion in 2013. I don't know why they haven't updated it, but this is the best I could do for that. So, again, the whole and then obviously the crypto market's a little bit less. It's like four or six trillion dollars now. But um, so 20 trillion dollars as a whole for the market of the stock exchange. So the crypto market could be 100 trillion, 200 trillion, 300. You know, you never or quadrillion. You just never know. So um, that's just a little quick update on that. Um, like I said, if you got any comments or anything like that, go ahead and leave them. Obviously, if you know more than me, then definitely leave them, but that's just kind of where I figure that out. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.